doing guys since you go watch for gaming well if you're new shy guys i would like you kill me and smash that little subscribe button and also to ring that bell notification it's, uh because when i'm about to drop a brand new video to you and then get notified so yeah in this video guys i'm gonna show you how you're gonna set up your chrono zen okay with uh, ps5 okay on playstation 5 console all right so when you first buy your zen guys uh it normally comes with three cable okay so as you can see th this the short cable and you basically get the the program cable okay a micro usb program cable that's what they call that the prog cable and you also get another cable which is kind of a, a bit lengthy okay it's a it's a bit long uh, this one is for controller okay this is your controller cable all right so basically guys if you're seeing the zen right from right this side okay so the short cable it goes on top okay on the top and now what you want to do guys is uh you want to plug this in into your pc if you have a pc laptop and you, we're gonna make sure that it is up to date all right so i'm gonna show you everything okay so yeah just plug it in and let's get started to zen studio you want to click downloads okay so if you don't have the zen studio you want to click download here and we're gonna need the firmware update tool so we're gonna click here to download the firmware update tool all right hit open as you can see right here so if you do get this please select your device to continue no device found all right what you need to do is let me show you that so you're gonna unplug okay so you wanna unplug your zen all right like this and while you're putting this uh usb cable when you plug it in into your pc make sure that at the back of the zen you're gonna see a small button device here so i want you to press on it and keep pressing while you input this okay it's a usb cable all right hey okay, guys so now what you need to do is you're gonna click here and make sure to always uncheck this and now you we're gonna select the first top line okay? all right beta 50. now if you're watching this video uh down the bottom of like a few months okay then always you gotta select the first one okay you're gonna turn this off you're gonna click this down arrow and you're gonna select the first one okay which is the latest version and you're gonna hit continue and now you're gonna click begin update all right right now it is current we are currently flashing the firmware on our zen device okay so all you have is just wait here all right so after it uh finish flashing all you have is to disconnect it just remove it and then we are good to go okay uh now just close this all right close All right, guys. So as as you can see, hold on. I'm not sure if OBS. Uh, yeah, as you can see, guys, I've updated the, the firmware to beta 50. This is the latest firmware right now. So now what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna unplug this. Okay, unplug the short cable, and now I'm gonna grab the the prog cable. Okay, it's a prog cable only. Okay, so as you can see, if you if you're seeing the the Zen from right here okay from right here so on top okay so if you're seeing it uh, right here so it's going to be on the right hand side okay the prog cables going to be on the right hand side right here so if you're seeing the zen right here okay it's going to be on the right hand side all right so you're gonna grab the that prog cable and we're gonna plug it in guys okay so you're seeing that but all right so what you want to do is to press it firmly okay all right and now we're gonna plug this thing on our pc okay
Okay, so once it plugged, all, all you had is to double click on this Zen Studio. Alright. Just run this Zen Studio. Okay, so once it opens, uh, first thing you want to do is you want to load your scripts. Uh, if you don't know how to load scripts, okay, so you're going to click uh, File, Open, and say you want to load any script first. Okay, make sure that you load scripts. All right, so there, and if you're on Xbox, you're gonna set this up for Xbox. Uh, here's the values you're gonna change. You wanna change if you're playing on uh, Xbox, but this is obviously a setup for PS5 controller uh, and for PlayStation 5. So, as you can see, this is already set up, okay? L2 plus R2, all right, all done, okay? So, you wanna click this and click and drag it to the slot number two or slot number one. I've already clicked, I've already done mine, as you can see, uh, th on the first slot, it says the same name, all right? So once you've done that, all, all you wanna do is and click the play button, so it's going to say saving to device, please wait. All right, so just wait right here. All right, so once you've done that, just go to device okay and in device guys make sure that you uh you click on this enable ps4 speciality for ps5 console click this so as you can see and now um make sure that your emulator output protocol is set to please uh to PlayStation 5 uh to PlayStation 4 and 5 okay all right guys so right here in the device these two things are really important make sure that you enable the ps4 speciality and then to emulate your app protocol to uh, playstation 5 and 4 okay so once you've done all of that just close that zen and unplug okay unplug the the zen over there all right Uh, all right here we go focus focus yeah okay so uh, as you can see here's a zone i've just unplugged it and here's a program cable so i'm gonna unplug this pro cable all right so here's a zen okay now what you want to do guys so on top this the short cable goes on top so we're gonna connect this right now okay so yeah just connect that as you can see right here and now guys uh i'm gonna explain to you where uh is uh, your ps5 okay so now i do know that i'm aware of that uh, there's a new uh, Beloader, Beloader Pro, okay, the Beloader controller uh, is out, okay, so you, if you don't want to spend like $200, $300 on Amazon, they're selling that shit for $300, okay, 250 $275, okay, so that's expensive, okay, so uh, you don't need to use all that crap and bullshit, Beloader or Beloader 2, whatever, so as you can see right here, guys, um uh, we're gonna use our stock ps4 controller and our ps5 controller so if you're seeing the zen right here okay so this is where the setup cable goes all right so this cable will go into your ps5 okay just just forget about this right here just forget it now if you're seeing right here if we face the zen device right here okay so this is a setup cable this is a prog cable we don't need to put the prog cable okay all right so just forget this part right now so at the uh so where's the if you're seeing yeah so if you're seeing right if if you're seeing the zen from right here okay this is a front so this right here is a a1 port okay it is a a1 port and this is where you're gonna connect your ps4 controller all right you heard me properly guys this is where you want to connect your ps4 controller on the a1 port 
normally if the zen is facing like this here here goes a setup cable and uh this where the prog cable goes the programmable programming cable okay all right so facing like this if we turn it right here uh it will be on the left hand side okay so on the left hand side this is gonna be your ps4 controller and now say if you have um a hori okay a ps4 hori mini pad or if you have any nakon okay nakon controller then it's going to be at the bottom right corner all right only if you have a hori mini pad controller guys uh you want to connect it at the bottom right okay right here but for ps4 controller for an actual ps4 controller let 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 me show you so this is an actual ps4 controller okay so i've hooked that cable which come with the zen you want to connect that ps4 controller into the a1 port right here okay just like that and your ps5 controller it must be wired okay so if you're using the ps5 controller wirelessly it's not gonna work uh it's going to work but you're gonna get disconnected a lot of times so it is best to use a ps5 controller wired okay and you're gonna connect uh if the zen is facing right right here okay so this is a setup cable so this one will go to your ps5 here we've uh in the a1 port we've connected the ps4 controller and uh at the bottom facing the left okay the left at the bottom facing the left this is where the ps5 controller wired the usb will go right here as you can see at the left ps5 controller will go right here and the right one okay is the right usb port this is for if only you have a hori mini pad controller or any nacon okay n-a-c-o-n nacon controller so this is where if you're on pc this is where uh you're gonna plug this on pc but this setup is actually for ps5 okay so uh, there's only one usb pool right here and one usb type c okay so you're gonna plug this thing okay this is the same device right here okay so once you plug it's going to be like this all right and now as you can see the ps4 controller it actually works uh everything works okay yeah as you can see or i can move right here as you can see everything works all right now what you want to do guys is you want to grab the this thing all right now you're gonna grab this no moment sorry i'm recording this with my mobile phone okay so as you can see at the bottom left hand side you want to plug this cable as you can see now the, you can see the led okay light up so as you can see we can actually move on as you can see the ps5 controller also works all right you can see the green led light right here that means it is working and for the ps4 as well we have a green led light for the ps4 controller okay so now what you want to do guys is yeah you're good to go guys you are already set up now if you press this big blue button right here as you can see this is my script right here where it says yashvia aim version 2 and just in case guys if ever the controller keeps disconnecting because a lot of people are facing some issues with this controller gets disconnected their ps5 controller what you need to do is to go to settings okay so you're gonna go to settings you're gonna go to accessories and then as you can see what says bluetooth accessories you're gonna as you can see this is a wireless so it detected two registered one and two okay so one is for the ps4 and one is for the ps5 all right so say if this thing keeps disconnecting while you're gaming okay what what you can do is you want to come right here where it says wireless device and you're going to delete that okay you're going to delete that once you delete it just re uh remove the usb plug uh and reconnect it once reconnected it's it's gonna get re-registered by itself 
if still you are facing the controller issues guys the controller issue uh, if still it's get disconnected then you're gonna go back to your PC right over there then you're gonna grab you gonna eject everything you're gonna plug your thing your Zen back into your PC and then what you're gonna do you're gonna disable the PS4 speciality in the Zen studio